Hello students, this is a makeup writing lesson. I messed up. I forgot to make the writing lesson for the letter S, which is the last lowercase letter we are focusing on. So here it is Wednesday. You'll have a writing lesson today, Wednesday, on that letter S. So again, the letter S is kind of tricky because it has two, well, multiple arcs in it, multiple curves. There's no straight lines in the letter S. And it is a regular lowercase letter, so it will have to touch this black line on the bottom and touch this dotted line on the top and be right between those. So let me show you how it's done. You're going to start a little bit under this dotted line, just like we've done for so many letters. And in fact, the beginning stroke of this letter looks just like a letter C. However, you're going to curve back in and then do it again but on the other side and make an arc on the bottom. So it's a little bit tricky to get the spacing right. You need to start here. And again, like as many letters, you do top to bottom, although it's a little confusing, but you want to make that arc that goes up to the top first and then down to the bottom. And try that all in one stroke. Notice I don't pick up my pencil and make two lines or anything like that. So what's difficult about this letter S is making it proportional. So sometimes it kind of looks like this, and then the bottom is too big. See that? You want the top hook right here, this part, this part. I'll erase it in a second. But that part of the S has to be about the same size as this part. And I didn't do it perfect, but and you probably won't do it perfectly, but... You want to try to get it as even as you can. Here, it's clearly the bottom is way bigger than the top. So be aware that you need to make the top and the bottom about the same proportions. And yeah, here's another common mistake is just starting right on the letter or on the dotted line, starting to make the S like this. And you can see that it doesn't have the arc. It needs to have an arc like that to make an S. So avoid that mistake. And of course, there's all the mistakes of crossing the line. So, you know, if, if you go over the line, that's going to be wrong, of course. If you go under the line, that's going to be wrong, of course. You guys should know that by now because all of these regular lowercase letters are right in between the middle line and the bottom line. So go ahead and try to do that. Make some, not, Don't try to do it. Actually do it. Make two rows of letter S and try to make them as, as, as neatly as you can. And then I have some words for you to copy that have the letter S. This first one says seesaw. That's actually a compound word. There's two words inside of there, C and saw. Then we have sight, and that is your vision. That's your ab ability to see, sight. The ending letters are I-G-H-T, which is a word family that will We'll, we'll touch on in the future. Then we have silly, which starts with an S. And finally, we have this big word here that has four letter S's, and it says Mississippi. And Mississippi is one of the states in the United States. There are 50 states, and Mississippi is one of them. And it always stands out because it has four S's. And I remember when I was a kid, I saw that word and thought, wow, that's a lot of S's in one word. So you get to practice four letter S's in that word. And here is your writing lesson, your makeup writing lesson on the letter S. Please make two rows of good letter S's and then copy these words. And I will see you next time.